Hey guys, uh, welcome back to uh, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry, is that so? Yep, everyone is going to take turns on stage and recite their favourite poems. Uh, that sounds kind of dull. It's not just about reading poems, it's about performing them. Like you say, the lines of the poem, like, Between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what ends have I summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every direction, the once prosperous field before me is but a barren wasteland. Like that. I'm Sayori, how do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk like that. Meh, nah, you meanie. I'm working super hard on this, you know? I know, I know. I just meant it's a pretty unordinary contrast to your cute self. <laughs> Don't say that, it's embarrassing. Let's begin the mission. The mission? Huh? Ah, I dropped one by accident. Ah! Yeah! Sarah bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. She falls to the floor and the crayons spill all over her lap. Oh, wow, 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 wow. You okay? My forehead. Sayori clutches her forehead. Jeez, Sayori. That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Sorry, I, as a person who plays Titan in Destiny 2, I'm staring at the crayons with a uh, <laughs> delicious intent. Where would I even find ice around this time? Ah, I guess a cold drink would do. You don't have to. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. Even wincing from the pain, Sayori makes a silly joke. <laughs> what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Uh, okay. I hand Sayori the bottle of apple juice. Damn, that's a big apple juice bottle to have in a vending machine. Sayori opens the cap and starts drinking from it. Sayori, what are you doing? It's for your forehead, baka. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> How hard did you hit your head? I'm so glad that nothing's changed between us. Do you think it'll be like this forever? Well, I hope so. It's been this long already, right? I can't imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. I'm so happy. I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know? Good luck with that. She's gonna see your forehead either way. Now if I hide it under my bangs? Ah, you're back. Good timing, I was just about to- Uh, Jesus Christ, sorry, let me restart that sentence. Good timing, I was just about to- Oh my god, Joe, read! Okay, let me turn down the music. I think the music's slightly distracting me. Good timing, I was just about to- What? Why can't I say this sentence? Good timing. I was just about ready to start with sharing poems. Eh, uh, Sayori, your forehead. Uh, she's fine, don't worry about it. I was playing with crayons and smacked my forehead into the shelf. That's <laughs> just no comment. Well, anyway, were you able to find everything you needed? Uh-huh, I have it right- Huh? Sayori frantically glances around herself. I forgot all the stuff! C calm down, Sayori. I have it all <laughs> Oh my god. I have it all right here. Sounds like you ended up doing all the work, Joseph. Ah, well, Sayori. I failed to come up with an excuse for Sayori. I made it an adventure. Yeah, that. You two are kind of like a dynamic duo. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Oh, oh, I did, I don't, okay, I clicked Sayori apparently. I clicked space by accident, skipping it. It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. Eh? Uh, uh? What, what, what? Stop thinking weird things, Baka. <laughs> Sorry, every time I say Baka now, I just think like, uh. You sussy Baka. How am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? But you somehow make everything in your life an adventure. Even the little things, like cooking. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> so yeah, I guess what I'm saying is that I feel more feelings through you than I can through myself. We have that kind of weird connection. I pat Sayori's head. <laughs> hey, I'm not a kid, you know. Are you sure about that? Well, whatever. I'll give it to you when we go home. Really? Snap. Ah, I broke my pencil. S -s 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 Sorry. Uh, I'm a little clumsy today. <laughs> Let's sit down, Sayori. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. And now, Yuri. Sorry I left you on the back burner today, Yuri, but it is what it is. It's a very intimate, intimate exercise. God, I, I, I was going to have another moment there about trying to say intimate. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's about expressing your feelings. It's about being intimate with yourself. <laughs> ah, should I? Should I? Ah, no, because I know what's gonna happen, man. I don't want it to happen, but I also don't want to keep choosing the same options over and over, like, for every playthrough, man. I'm sorry. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. Oh my god. Yeah, let's, let's save it again whilst I remember. It's bad, but I'm, it's bad that I'm starting to remember what some of these words for her is. Who should I show my poem to first? Honestly, I was thinking of changing it up a bit. It's just simple as that. Just that that's the change. Ooh. Ah, man, it's depressing. It's so depressing. It's just depressing. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? How about how Sayori's been a little off today? Yeah? Did she tell you something? Well, Joseph, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? M of course not. I've been treating her like I always do. Alright, just making sure. I know how much you care about her. It'd be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye out on her. Humans are two-dimensional creatures. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. It's almost like having your own little liturgy club. Don't you think? Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe? <laughs> what does she say, Monica? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of festival preparations. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can... Uh, um, guys? Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. No, calm down, you're not Aqua. <laughs> that just leaves you, Joseph. The one that is truly useless. You literally just said... Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. I can't believe this. Yuri's gonna be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard anything from Sayuri since she left the club the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. God, entering Sayori's house with a dark screen just brings back bad memories. I'm sorry, it's, it's, it makes me such a nice moment in the game as well, I'm just skipping it so fast. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, uh, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I just, I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I'd known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Ah, uh, I suppose that's true. <laughs>